Welcome back, Fatwood Friday. Um, I've got an uh, order that I put in the mail um, from the channel Fab Creations. I'll put the uh, link at the end of the video and also description down below. Um, I bought uh, two of these, so let's check out what we got. The other one is actually opened and uh, put together. So what we have is a bag, and this is actually a little portable camp stove, maybe backpacking, maybe throw it in the back of your motorcycle, throw it in your camper. So it is all the pieces to put a stove together. I'm going to leave this one right in the bag. Um, it's got instructions how to put it together and I will show you what we got. So here was the bag that it came in and this is it all put together. Little fire box. Uh, it's got a top on there where you can um, either put a uh, coffee cup on there, warm up uh, coffee, tea, hot water, or put a little pan on there and cook up uh, something to eat. So uh, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, do a uh, fatwood variety and fire this thing up, um, maybe with a side of beans. Anyways, I ordered two. I'm going to keep one for myself. The other one, uh, I am going to save that, I believe, for a prize for our October 2nd Harvest Fest. Last year we had 10 prizes. We had three for free, and the other seven were uh, raffle items um, that we displayed. And we try to find uh, unique type items from uh, uh, you people who are making things homemade and this is one of those type of items that's really cool um, and uh, it's going to last you pretty much forever. Um, so anyways, uh, let's uh, take this thing outside and uh, fire it up. Screw this. These are your top two plates. goes on the inside of your stove which goes on the bottom basically you have two matching pieces and they go on your sides Take everything just goes together like a puzzle. And your other piece, you just kind of slide this in diagonal. Slides in like that. And that's it. Put these two on the top. And there you have it. All right, let's fire this thing up. A couple little maple sticks. for the bottom. Some curly Q fatwood.
Layer a little piece of fat wood on top. Okay, there we go. I want to give a, a little shout out to Lodge Cast Iron Pans. These were, uh, it was actually uh, Joseph Lodge who built, it was called Blacklock in 1896. So March of this year, they are celebrating 125 years in business. So 125 years ago in 1896, Joseph Lodge created the company called Blacklock. And I believe it was 1910. Uh, they had a uh, fire and uh, Blacklock was the name of his friend uh, who was a, a minister but uh, anyways in 1910 they had a fire and then um, they uh, uh, remade the company and turned it into what we know now as a lodge cast iron this is a, a little uh, six inch lodge cast iron pan on this little rocket stove made by Bruce from Fab Creations and uh, He's real easy to get a hold of on email. I did PayPal, and uh, anyways, uh, shipped as it should, and uh, it came right on time. So uh, great guy. I'll I'll put the uh, link to uh, his channel in the description. I'll also put one of his videos at the end of uh, this video. Um, I just decided to try to heat up a little bit of uh, corned beef hash and try out this rocket stove for the first time. So it looks like it's uh, taken off pretty good. And uh, we'll, we'll try it. This is the beauty of Lodge. You can use metal in these cast iron. You can use metal in a lot of cast iron, but if it's like the real smooth bottom, I try to use wood um, or uh, I prefer wood, wood spatulas and things like that if it's a real smooth cast iron pan. But Lodge, I got the rough bottom, so I don't care if I use a metal on that plus these pans are only 12 bucks that's the beauty of lodge the bang for the buck you probably can't beat it for their cast iron this little stove's cool because i mean all it takes is some little twigs and stuff and you can heat up something in a hurry good thing good for the uh, summer if you want to uh keep the heat out of the house Good for like certain meals, maybe if you don't want to uh, smell up your living room or something like that, depending on what you're cooking. But man, it's just fun to play with. Who doesn't like to play with some fire? That little rocket stove did a good job. It's a beautiful March 4th. It's, uh, I think, just barely above freezing. It might be like 33, something like that. It's sunny, and it's one of those days where we still have a lot of snow on the ground, and it just blinds you wherever you look. But, hey, we're happy. Spring's on the way. Hey, who says you can't have a uh, corned beef ass with some root beer?
Bruce, that little rocket stove is really cool. Make sure you check out his link. And if you want, that'd be a great uh, Father's Day gift, uh, birthday gift, Christmas gift, uh, barbecue gift, something to have around the house, your camper, anywhere you like to put something small like that's pretty cool. This is the uh, Henry Weinard's root beer gourmet style soda. If you look at back at our uh, videos, I had uh, on our bike, one of our bike trip videos there, uh, uh, Ram and I went to one place. They had, it was on Route 66 in Oklahoma, Edmore, Oklahoma, I believe it was. Anyways, anyways, it was on Route 66 in Oklahoma between Tulsa and Oklahoma City. And it had a whole entire root beer store, or a bottle pop. Place was huge. I believe next week is spring forward. Um, so it's one, uh, one hour we move the clocks forward i always like to tell the inmates on uh the first day of spring if i see them in jail you get to spend the bonus is uh one less hour in jail today Anyways, if you like these videos, hit subscribe, click like, share with your friends. Thanks for watching. Remember to keep commenting on all the videos uh, up till March 13th. And we're going to have that drawing March 14th for the uh, fire bag uh, from the uh, Rectinator. Um, anyways, we want to thank everybody for watching. Have a great weekend. Uh,